Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. I know it is not so easy to clear an interview. Whenever you are going for an interview, there can be several types of questions and answers that the interviewer can ask you, but how to respond to them, how to answer them, and what kind of question and answers that can be asked in an interview? Well, if you have a proper guide, you can go through them. And in this video, I'm gonna help you how to clear your Power BI interview. I'm gonna let you know all the question and answers that can be asked in a Power BI interview. So this is going to be a series. In this five episode series, I'm gonna let you know all the question and answers with my own experience, what you can expect in your interview and how you can answer to all of them. And not only that, if you are a member of our channel, then you would get a PDF where you can find all the question and answers for your future reference as well. So please join our channel and stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Let's first discuss about the Power BI topics. What are all those Power BI topics that can be asked in an interview? The very first would be your Power BI role, what kind of role you are performing into your current organization or what you have performed in your previous organizations, including the duties of that role and also the projects that you have worked on. After that, interviewer can ask you about the Power BI performance questions. That means what are the best practices, how are you going to improve the performance of your existing reports and there can be certain scenario based questions where interviewer can ask you how would you improve the performance of your Power BI report or Power Query or maybe the way you are refreshing your data. Next to that, interviewer can also ask you about the Power BI settings. That means there are certain settings, how you are going to apply them or how you are going to offer customized visual options to your endpoint users. Then when you are in interview, it can be asked about the different components of Power BI Desktop or maybe Power BI service. For example, what is a Power Query? What is a Power Pivot? Or what is a Power BI desktop application? Is there any on-premise solutions as well, etc. They can ask you in an interview. We all know that it's really important to secure your data whenever you are working in an organization. If your data is not secure, that means you cannot perform any kind of operations on that. By this means, I really want to emphasize on the security of your data. You cannot allow unauthorized users to use your data. For that, security is the utmost priority for any data engineer or data related engineer into your organization for the sake of your organization's privacy as well as security. So how you are going to implement security with Power BI? This is the most important questions they are going to ask you in an interview. Next to that, they can also ask about the Power BI architecture if you are going for a job of a Power BI solution architect or maybe for a senior Power BI developer. So you should know about the architecture and the different components in an architecture of Power BI. Now let's move forward and discuss what are the different programming skills that you need for a Power BI developer. The first and the foremost is DAX. You should know how to work with the DAX. What are the different functions of a DAX? How you are going to improve the performance of DAX? And not only that, you should also have a knowledge about SQL because SQL is a query that's going to interact with any of the database. If you want to select or extract any kind of data from the database, you are going to need that. And having the knowledge of SQL is always going to be a bonus point for you. So please do learn SQL and it's pretty easy. Next to that, there's mQuery for the advanced users. So if you are working on a Power BI and you are quite experienced one, then you should know how to apply different mQuery functions or how to go to the advanced editor and apply certain operations over there, how to parameterize your Power BI report, everything you can do with the help of mQuery. Next, we are gonna talk about one very important programming language that is Python. Python is one of the most desired language when it comes to the data analysis, data manipulation, or maybe if you are working in a data science team. Whether you work as a data analyst or a data scientist, you should know about Python. Now let's discuss about the data modeling. 
Data modeling is the core part of Power BI reporting. Whether you do the data modeling at the database side or you do in Power BI, this is going to be a game changer because without data modeling, you cannot analyze any data into Power BI reporting. Whether you are working on a small data or a large amount of data, you have to do the data modeling. So the interviewer can ask you about the different types or the concepts about the data modeling, what are the different schemas over there, how you are going to do the data modeling with Power BI, how you are going to apply security concepts in the data model. So everything you should know about that. We have already created a complete data modeling video with Power BI. I'll provide you a link in the description section, so please don't forget to check it out. It's going to help you a lot when it comes to your real life scenarios while working with a Power BI or whenever you are going in an interview. Now, there is a deployment, version controlling and automation. With Power BI, you can do a lot of automations as well. For that, you can use Power Automate. However, when it comes to the deployment of version controlling, you may need to use the third party tools. Or you can use Microsoft SharePoint to do the version controlling. Some of the organizations, they also create their own app because there is no inbuilt functionality in Power BI to do the version controlling. If you have to apply these different concepts while working with the Power BI, how you are going to do that? How you are going to deploy the Power BI reports or how you are going to publish the Power BI reports in Power BI services while maintaining their different versions? What are the deployment pipelines in Power BI? How to use them? How to do the automation of your report refresh? Or maybe you have to send an email to someone who doesn't have a Power BI license. Or what are the different external tools and how to use them? So your interviewer can definitely ask you questions about them if you are an experienced Power BI developer. Next to that comes the data warehouse and ETL. Nowadays, we are moving towards the cloud. Well, not all, but most of the organizations have already moved on the cloud. That means you should know how you are going to perform your ETL operations over there. ETL simply means extract, transform and load. Ingesting data in Power BI can happen in two multiple ways. There are three different kinds of storage mode in Power BI. That means when we ingest the data in Power BI, we either we can load the data directly into our Power BI file or we can connect live or we can have a direct query option. But if you are having a direct query or you are getting a data from the data warehouse, then how we are ingesting data into data warehouse? What is the ETL pipelines? Have you ever worked on them? Or at least do you have an idea how those pipelines work? Everything you should know because your interviewer can ask you a question about them. They can ask you what are the different kinds of dimensions, facts, how to apply them, what are the different schemas, what are the ETL pipelines, what is a data lake and what is a data lake house, what are the different kinds of tools that you have used, whether you have worked on Azure or AWS or GCP, or maybe you have worked on Microsoft SQL Server on-premise BI solutions. So you should have a clear idea about them and I'm gonna let you know all the questions that can be potentially asked in an interview. I hope now you have a pretty good idea about the question topics that can be asked in an Power BI interview. Please connect with us for training and consultation. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates.